Welcome back to Let's Play Arcanum of Magic and Steam Work Obscure. No, wait, I'm doing it in reverse again! Of, ma of Steam Work and Magic Obscure. There we go. Where well, last time we completed our first circle of gods. It was a lot of confusion as I tried to complete the third circle before the first circle. So now, but now we're on track. Now we have completed the first circle, and now we get to the second circle, which is the circle of darker gods. And for that, we are here at the first shrine we're gonna have to tackle, the shrine of Torg. Let's read about Torg. Great Torg, mighty Torg, you know your bones and blood. Great Torg, mighty Torg, your fury like a flood. Old talk, wise talk. Your children lost their way. Old talk, wise talk. Their hearts the price to pay. Great talk, mighty talk. I bring you rubies of red. Old talk, wise talk. My heart is yours until I am dead. Oh, that's very inspiring. As an ogre, I, I like that. Now, so we give him a ruby, yeah? Uh, where is the ruby? Did we forget to bring a ruby? Ah, uh, Magnus, you? did you get the ruby? No, okay. God, did you bring the ruby? Yes, sir. Yes, God brought the ruby. Okay, good. So we just give him this old ruby here. And then we go to blessings. Uh, yes, we keep the blessing of Hel uh, Halcyon, God of Truth. And now we got the offering of Torque, which is, I believe, just one point of Constitution. Nice, though. Is our Constitution really that low? Thought it was better. Hmm. Okay. Concerning. Anyway, so that was the first offering. Now, the second offering is, once again, an offering of Bullo, so... Off to that little Halfling's Bastard Shrine. Okay, so here we are at Bullo's Shrine. Looks a lot like Torg Shrine, surprisingly, honestly. Uh, but yes, we know what the uh, offering for the Halfling God was. It was just uh, you? your average little ring, so... Yes, sir. We just get, like, a cheap ring that we got, like... Not the mithril ring, those are expensive. Fancy ring. Fancy ring is fine. Give that to him. And we got the blessing of... Once again, as you know, once we complete the circle of, uh, to the greater god, we will lose that blessing. But that's fine. We are uh, actually going for something very specific here. What we'll see in a moment. Next shrine! Right, for a shrine to a new god we haven't sacrificed to before, we are back at Kree, which at this point I have completely cleared out both loot and uh, people living. So, all the barbarians are dead. They really should resettle it. Look at this lovely statuary and such. Skull laid with tits? Hell yeah! Totally metal! Here we have the spooky shrine of uh, Shakar. The great horned god, terrible, powerful, great horned god. We shake before you, you tremble, be we tremble before you, great horned god of pain. Fearsome great Shakar, angry, wrathful great Shakar. Handle of bone, blade of steel, great Shakar, great god of rage. The great ram Shakar, fierce, awesome, mighty Shakar, give me your blessing. War like the ways, the furious ram Shakar. Honestly, ram is a curious choice for a war god, but... Uh... Yes, okay, so this is a very tricky one. You need yes, to sir. sacrifice a what? bone weapon to this one, and they are not easy to find. I did actually go into the sewers of uh, Calon to find one, but we have it here. The bone dagger. So let us sacrifice to Shakar. Shakar. Oh, I did something wrong. I've lost all my blessings. What did I do wrong? 
One second, I will restart that with the proper god godly offering. Did I forget Curlin? I probably forgot Curlin, didn't I? Right, so first Curlin. And then we get to Shakar. So Curlin. Have another coin, you weird gold loving gnomish fellow. There we go, now we have a added to us, okay. And now we go all the way back to Cree to get that, uh, to get Shikar's blessing. Ah, uh, so much walking. All right, so now we should have things in order to make the sacrifice to Shakar. Yes, now we have a, a recipe of Shakar as well. And uh, what Shakar does? Should give us have given us a bunch of uh, dodge and melee skill. I do not notice it, but I am certain it's there. I guess. So we got a bit more persuade from Curlin. So now we are in a quite a good space to proceed with some other plans first. So we won't be completing the circle because then we'd lose the blessing of Shakar, and that would be a shame. Because uh, well, that's free combat skill. And I believe right now, if we... Let's first save it so we don't waste the drugs on just doing a test. So let's take us our, uh, the drugs that buff our physical capabilities. So we first take a... Uh, let's see. We, we quaff down a tonic of reflexes. We take a revitalizer. And then a... Let's see. An energizer. Don't have that... In our, huh, okay, I don't know why we haven't set that up, but the energizer as well. That should set our, ooh, we're nearly there. Hmm. I think this is just not enough to get the uh, melee training. We want that to be fully at the top, so I'm gonna have to think a little bit on how we can get that last boost in melee capabilities. Oh, I may have an idea. Let's take a Mind Marvel. Because I think that just... No, that does not make everything better. Hmm. So I'm just thinking how we can get that last bit of dexterity to make us truly unstoppable. Okay, I did some thinking, some research into... Uh, there are ways that we can finalize and maximize our potential. One of which would be uh, to start by using that recipe that we learned for... Let's just look at it. Muscle Maker. Now this would lower all our uh, mental stats, but increase all our physical stats, including dexterity. So that should be able to put us over the edge that we need to be complete combat monsters. But it's a permanent change, so to go back we would then have to make a Brain Builder. This would require us to learn more uh, chemistry actually, which we are going to want eventually. But I think there is a better way, a more unholy way, to uh, reach our fullest potential. But that will leave for a little bit. For now, we can just go on and get, a, get the rest of our blessings. And uh, for this last one, we need to go to this place, which you learn about in Ashbury. You uh, learn rumors of an ancient temple. That is where we will go for the final blessing of the Dark Circle of Magic. Which we are, uh, well, the Dark Circle of Gods, rather. Not so much magic, but gods and their blessings. And we do want the last uh, blessing. And then we can comp begin completing the final circle that we were, we were beginning on before. The third circle of uh, magic, of the neutral gods. Whatever that means. In this temple we've never not been here before. Ah! And it's full of zombies. Great. <laughs> Meanwhile, we have also leveled up to level uh, to level 44. So we have six character points to spend. Very nice. That should give us. A lot of nice technology when we can uh, start mastering that. Oh, more zombie. Die, zombie. You don't belong in this world. That's quite literally true. Yeah. 
There goes Gar, lovely. Down into this ancient temple we go. Hmm, what an interesting symbol. We have seen this before. However, we will investigate this temple in more detail at a later date. For now, we are just interested in getting to that final shrine. Yep, there's a whole bunch of bony boys jumping up. Go back down, bony boys. Bone busher. Oh, they hit fairly hard. If I wasn't so heavily armored, I would be scared. I am heavily armored, so I'm not so scared. There we go. More bony boys. Yeah, this is... Uh, ah, here we go. There's the evil shrine. There's a lich. Let's go kill the lich. But here, anyway. Might as well have some fun. Honestly, if we want the full training, we are better off doing this on our own. But, uh, honestly, we don't need the training right now. So happy once we have reached our maximum potential. And they just keep on coming, don't they? There's a lot of pony boys here. Ah, machine gun bowman, how lovely. And the spider. I had not expected the spider. Not a match, we'll probably kill it in a second as soon as we get our turn. Yeah, there goes Gar. Will Gar kill it? What type? Of, it's just a normal spot. I'm not even going to bother, I'm going to focus on the skeleton. I miss. Level 3 spider, that is embarrassing. Yeah, we clear out this uh, hole here first. Ghosts here. I don't know what ghosts you. I'm afraid. I'm afraid of no ghost. They don't have a ghost of a chance. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, speaker of evil. Hello, I'm speaker of oh god. What do you have to say, speaker of evil? Are evil a democracy? Or is it like communist? Uh, it looks rather communist the way all these bone boys are charging at us. Oh, those were some good critical hits. Foul spirit! Take a shower, shall you? Go, Virgil, kill that spider. Go, Magnus, kill that spider. Gar is gonna go loose on the spirit. You know, you forget Jarman is a mage, but he is. For some reason, I didn't attack. Oh well. There we go. Is there anything cool in this box? Temple of the Dorian Ka, Torian Kalki. That sounds important. And the Darien car, that's that ancient order of the dead that the Malokian hand splintered off of. Oh dear. This is uh, an important place. That will be just looking into the more later. For now, let us look at this altar of the evil god. Uh, Flows like shadow over the ground. Dark eyes waiting, watching. Dark hands waiting, watching. Age ancient Morindan. Morindal, god of the fallen night, shadows like the blackest ink over all that's new and bright. Beautiful black diamond, like your soul, both dark and deep. Dark eyes waiting, watching. Dark hands waiting, watching. So yes, they want a black diamond, which I picked up in a... Uh, maze dungeon I went to specifically to pick up the black diamonds. Now we make the offering. Get the offering and yeah we lose the blessing of the previous god but we got the blessing of uh, of the second circle that of evil. 
Therefore you receive more than shadow. What did we get? Uh, I think our combat is pretty much still the same. Our stat still seems to be the same. We got a bunch of backstab. Uh, prowling spot. Yeah, mostly backstab it seems. That's not too useful. But if you're a thief character that would be very cool. But not for us. Okay, well, it is something. It's mostly just to complete this circle, so we complete the final circle of neutral gods, which we will get to, because, you know, I want to be done with all this god business. Gods, darn it. And, yeah. So, we can walk through that one real quick, as we've done it before. So, first of all, on that list, uh, was Albrecht. So here we are at the last shrine. We uh, completed the whole third uh, circle. We did it before, so I don't feel like going over it again. Alberich, uh, Makan, then uh, Curlin, then finally Bolo, and then we're right back at the shrine of uh, Kithin. Or Kaithan, or whatever you pronounce it. Kaithan. Uh, I don't know. But they should be accepting our blessing now, uh, if I actually bring blessings. God, bring forth the blessing. Yes, sir. Or the offering. Yes, sir. I'll give you your offering. There we go. And that should complete the circle now. Now we have, uh, yeah, the God of uh, Good, Evil, and Neutrality. Uh, offering a fair bit of blessings. Uh, a bit more charisma. Um, I think, yeah, we got, uh, like, perception and willpower. We got a bit of beauty, I think. Yeah, could be. No dexterity, that's a shame. Um, we got a more skill in melee, though you won't see it until we up our dexterity. And that'll be important. Backstab, spot trap, prowling. We got more, uh, persuasion. Once again, that'll probably show up when we, uh, trained. We have a little bit more haggle and a little bit more heal. So we are pretty, uh... Pretty empowered by the gods. Oh, we also have bow skill now. Probably never use it. Oh well. Now then, now that we've got that completed, let's go to our next step of the plan. So here we are back uh, for the next step of the plan in Durnholm, where the Grand Master, or the Master of Melee, actually resides. I suppose it's uh, quite dishonorable and unpleasant uh, Garrick Stout, from what we've been told. So let's speak with him, because with our blessings, if we buff our uh, dexterity a bit, we should actually be good enough that we can become masters of melee! Glorious. Stand for Sap! You have the honor of addressing Sir Garrick Stout, captain of the Damn Hope Guard and master of melee! What say you, citizen? Yeah, I heard you were a master of melee. You don't have to shine it in my face. Yes! I am the master of melee! I have no equal! I've never been beaten in battle! Why do you seek me out? Can you teach me how I can be a better fighter and stuff? Your paltry skills would be no challenge for me! I would skewer you so easy as fish in a platter! Leave me be! Do not bother me again unless you achieve a level worthy of my notice! Right, so uh, we can do that via Drufire, the power of drugs. So we take an Energizer, we take a Revitalizer, and we take a, let's see, Tonic of Increased Reflexes. We should make more of those, by the way. I'll uh, hunt for the ingredients while we're at it, but it should be enough for our purposes for now. Now that brings our melee up not quite to the top, but I believe this actually is good enough for him. Stand for citizen! Yeah, 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 and you, uh, you have the honor, yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah, I know about that. Can you train me in melee now? Can you train me? You do appear to have some training, though I doubt you will ever be near my equal. If you have, if you truly desire training, I have a task for you to complete to test your skills. Okay, what task is that then? It is in regard to my betrothed, Lady Drilla. 
She is a petite beauty, fragile as women of her breeding are. I was forced into a duel which she had the misfortune to witness. I destroyed the offender, and I fear I might have uh, the sight of such violence was just too much for her delicate sensibilities. What happened then? She fled the scene, obviously distraught. I tracked her and tried to calm her, but she, uh, when I discovered the location, it was too late. She had been surrounded by a pack of gear and allures. I dared not show myself for fear of increasing her distress and provoking the beast. What gear and allures? That sounds like some kind of car. Foul beasts! Very deadly! They seek out the weak and the traumatized and feed on their strong emotions. Their victim exists in a trance-like state of emotional agony, sometimes for months before they die. The Gerdelua, or usually a pack of them, provide the basic needs for the prey so that they may prolong their feeding. What do you, do you, why have you not rescued her yourself then? You're like a brave fighting man, right? I fear my presence would just further, further agonize Lady Drella. Perhaps sending her, her further, to, further into a traumatized realm of her haunted mind. If this happens, the Gyrdalu will almost certainly go into a frenzy. I fear they might do her harm in this state. What do you want me to do then? First, you must destroy the beast. Yeah, and then what? Then I, then I need you to speak with Lady Drella. Tell her of my desire to wet her. Let her know that I am sorry. For she was distressed over witnessing the carnage. Tell her I have a proposal for her. Uh, yeah, like a marriage proposal? It's usually part of, uh, of wedding her, you know? No, no, no. During the battle, my opponent, Atkin Chambers, who is the master of Dodge, by the way, was badly disfigured and blinded. He now resides outside of Stillwater, a crazed recluse. The Lady Druella knew him and is distraught over the circumstance. Tell her I have found a way to cure his blindness. Or oh, you can cure blindness? How do you do that then? Why don't you become like an amazing medical doctor if you can do that? Yes, I have acquired a magical potion that once ingested will restore sight of the blind. As you can imagine, it was not easy to come by. To appease her sensibilities, I am offering to get this gift to Adgin with the potion. If she agrees, that is. What is she agreeing to then? All I ask of her is a willing hand in marriage. She need only return to me in an agreeable state, and I will make sure Adgin is healed to his former self. What say you? Do you accept my task? So, you want your broad to be like for force and yet be willing? That's some real messed up stuff there, you know? Shut up, I can beat you! Okay, fine, I'll do your thing. Excellent! Here, let me show you on your map. Now go and bring her to me. I cannot wait to have her for my own. That sounds formless. So, yes, we have a task. Let us go and do that task, and something interesting will reveal itself along the way. That's my chance of being ominous. There, actually, it's the. Yeah, there we go. So, it's not that far away. You can just go along the coast. You could probably even walk away manly, but we're not gonna do that. There go my potions, so we'll have to re up them once we need to take the training of. Uh, Master. At least I think we do. I'm not even entirely sure we have to. That's not... Uh, so we have a nice little passage with flowers. And I guess these are the guild lures. They look like tiny green lizard men. Hey, uh, lady. You're supposed to be unconscious, not grabbing the bread. I guess she's hungry. Well, in her emotionally distraught state. Right, well, we have to fight these things, so let's go! They do not make the sound of lizardmen. They more like make the sound of motorbikes. Oh, 
I just really aren't that tough to deal with, honestly. Yeah, see? I thought gear. That's not a. I knew gear to lose for like a car. They even sound like cars. Vroom, 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 motherfuckers. Vroom, vroom, vroom. Let's go, team. I guess Gar wants to a long way. I am fine with that. There's more for us to kill. Oh, they're scared now. Vroom, vroom. I will vroom vroom this one to death. Oh, no, we couldn't. Oh well, that's fine as well. Yeah, I guess she's just gonna pick up all the stuff. Help you? No, not you. Free wine, I think. Lovely. Right, now let's speak with Lady Drella now that she's been rescued. This woman appears to be emerging from a trance. Who? Oh, who are you? Are you those one well, those creatures? What is happening? Lady Duella, you're free and I'm here to rescue you. Aren't you a little bit tall for a stormtrooper? No, no one can re can rescue me from the depths of despair. My lover is dead. He was kind and noble and handsome man named Atkin Chambers, but he is gone forever. Would that I could join him. You can, you just have to off yourself, I guess, but he's not really dead, you know. No, not dead! Not dead! Hedkin is alive! But how is that possible? I saw him struck! He fell to the ground and there was blood everywhere! Yeah, he was wounded, but apparently he survived the battle from what I'm told. What then? What happened to him? Tell me! Yeah, so Garrick tells me he was blinded in the battle. That horrid, horrid beast! I knew there was no honor in Sir Garrick. I am overjoyed with the news that Atkins is alive, yet I am broken hearted over the loss of his sight. Know that you know you who has uh, this uh, effect on him has affected him. I've been told he's been like a bitter crazed old man living in Raccoons or something. Oh my! Atkins must, must certainly blame me as well. What have I done? What have I done? Ah, uh, you seem like real upset. Tell me what Sir Garrick did to you. Both men had been vying for my hand in marriage. I placed my other, my favor with Atkins, as we were betrothed, and we were betrothed. Sir Garrick heard the news, and he, well, he was insanely jealous and challenged Atkins to a duel. I begged Atkin not to accept, but uh, insisted, being it being a matter of honor. What happened then, then? Atkins then held his own for a while, but soon it was obvious that Sir Garrick was the better warrior. Atkins yielded and Sir Garrick approached him, him as to salute. At the last moment, the brute pulled a blade, slicing Atkins across the face. Well, that doesn't seem very nice or honorable. Blood was spilling, spurting everywhere. I screamed in horror as Atkins fell to the ground, his lifeblood draining from his body. Sirkin stood proud and let out a bestial cry of triumph. I ran from the scene, afraid to witness what damage had the beast had done to my beloved's lifeless form. Yes, well, Sir Garrick wants to make amends or something, if you allow. What? What could that blackguard possibly offer that would be of consequence to me? Well, Sir Garrick had found a way to cure Atkins of that whole bloodness. I guess it still regrows ours or something. Cure him? Completely? Restore his sight uh, that was removed by uh, with a blade? That is powerful magic! This was wondrous news, but I am puzzled. Has Sir Garrick jealous, uh, jealous temper cooled, or is he hoping to atone for his evil deeds by curing Atkins? 
Uh, yeah, he's uh, willing to cure Atkins, but I don't think it's like for being good. I think he wants to bang you. What but price? What do you mean bang me? What good book could he possibly want says who knew? Bang means that he still lusts after me. Is that his price? Yeah, he wants your willing hand in marriage. That's uh, that, that, and uh, he's also like going soon she will be mine. That sort of stuff. He really sounds like a villain. Willing? Ha! That will be the day when I willingly submit myself to that overzealous barbarian. The self-titled sir is nothing but a lecherous baseball brute. If you really love Atkins, wouldn't you want to do anything to cure him? I cannot believe he will blackmail me into marriage. I was wrong to believe I could think no less of that man. Look, I'm real sorry he's forcing you to marry him, but uh, I need to be like melee trained and stuff. And what do you gain from this exchange, pray tell? Well, he agreed to teach me to be a master of like fighting and stuff. Please tell me, if I understand this correctly, if you return me to Sir Carrick, I agree to wed him, he will train you, and then you will be his equal in combat. Uh, yeah, that's the idea. But what do you think? Uh, you know, he's really real smart up and stuff about it. Tell me, sir. Does your loyalty lie with Sir Garrick? No, really. He's not kind of a prick. I thought not. Creatures such as he do not normally have access to uh, loyal fellows. Perhaps you and I could come to an arrangement. What do you have me do, then? If I were to return to Sir Garrick and agree to wed him, he will restore Atkins uh, to his full health. He will then train you as a fighting master, so that he, you are his equal. Once you are trained, would you be willing to destroy the beast for me? And what would be in it for me then? I would hope your sense of decency would be enough. I have nothing of value to offer you. Well, I probably would have killed them anyway, so I'm kind of that sort of person when it comes to assholes. It is agreed then. Let us be us. I wish to end Atkins' suffering quickly. Yeah, come with me. We'll go to Sir Garrick and finish this. Now, uh, with that, Drella joins us as a party member. And Drella has a rather interesting, uh, interesting uh, ability. Um, if we go look at, let's see where it is under. I don't know exactly where it's under. Okay, let us just go through this because uh, Drella here. You might notice that our charisma is shot up by two points. Yes, yeah, so long as we have Druella in the party, our charisma is actually improved by two points. I don't know why, but because uh, she's so uh, so cute and sexy or something, I don't know. But, uh, well, we don't have to go back to Sir Garrick directly. What if we use her a bit in the uh, negotiations before we go back and kill Sir Garrick? Doesn't that sound like a clever plan? Yes, a very clever plan. So, here we run into a problem. Uh, with uh, our plan a little bit of a problem so Lady Drella eventually does want to you know continue with the plan not be dragged around all of Arcade which is our plan so sadly she will be objecting so we have to be quite quick about it um why have we, have we not taken it to Sir Garrick it's pretty good uh, I'm sorry I had some business to attend first we must make haste. I wish Atkin to be healed as quickly as possible. If you do not take me to Sir Garrick now, I will be forced to uh, leave you and negate our agreement. I'm so I'm sorry. I will take you to Sir Garrick immediately. But right after we meet the councilman. So yes, problem with and I tried this a couple of lots of times uh, to try and get things done. Like um. Right now, thanks to our lovely charisma buffed up, is 19, which should uh, allow us to even ace the negotiations. But she will not want to be dragged around all the way to Caledon and then back to Durnholm. That uh, seems to be a bit too far of a journey for her. So we're gonna have to settle with just getting her to help us get the quest, which uh, she does, and then uh, return her to uh, her, her boy toy, as it were. Uh, yeah, so we inform him that we 
There's the assassin, then we ask for the job. Read. I'm the individual looking for. And look at the light, sexy lady next to me. She'll help. She won't help. And then, yeah, we take the job. And we will just be negotiating as we have before. It won't be an ideal negotiation, but it will be good enough to get us Master of Persuasion. And with that, we have to quickly now head back to Dernholm and return her to, to Sir Garrick's stat. Because else she'll, she'll just leave and then we won't complete the cast and we won't become Masters of Melee. That sucks. And we won't be able to uh, heal Atkins, so we won't be able to become Master of Dodge down the line either. So we have to have a quick run back and resolve that first. Maybe we can convince her to come with us again, but I doubt it. I doubt it. She's that uh, picky. But uh, well, at least she helped us get that master request for persuasion. That's nice without us spending character points on that. So we get to keep all of our character points. How lovely. So off we go to back to Dunholm. Okay, so let us uh, report back in. Stand fast, citizen! You are the honor of my company again! Doubtless, you doubtlessly remember me, Sir Garrick Stout, Master of Melee! What do you say? I'll return with Lady Drilla. She's willing to wreck you, sort of. Well done! I did not think you were up to the task! So she came, comes willingly to wet with me in exchange for Atkins' sight? Uh, yeah, sure she does. Ah, lady! You are a sight to behold! He shakes himself, remembering your presence. Yes, let us proceed. Here's a potion I spoke of. He hands you a vial. See that it's delivered to Atkin Chambers in Stillwater. Oh, like my training now. Training? Oh, yes! He eyes you up with contempt. You have, li uh, you have lived up to your bargain? Very well, I grant you training and you are now a master of a master. Your title is equal to mine, but I doubt your skill will ever be. Now be gone! I have a bride to bed! Uh, you are really disgusting. Now it's time to pay for your crimes. Alright, so the battle begins. <coughs> are we now actually, by the way, masters of melee? Yes, we are! Good! That means, yeah, we are getting, I think, a few more hits and stuff. Oh, and notice that! It seems we have a bit of an explanation of why he keeps winning his battles. That is some serious poison he's dealing. He is poisoning his weapons. Now, we just uh, have a little bit of a brawl with the rest of the town guard, but this is dirt hole. I'm sure we'll be fine. Most of these uh, people are bastards anyway. Oh, summoning some fire elementals. Have fun. I wonder what's going on with Virgil. Why well, he has that symbol under his thing. Maybe he took like a speed potion or something. There it goes. That night. Oh, guards is running. Oh shit, I'm not dying for this. Alright, very good. Does he have some sort of poison weapon? No, he just has normal stuff. Why are we in combat again? Who are we fighting? I don't know. Ah, some guy with a bow. Wow, Virgil's kicking ass. I guess he has taken some kind of combat buff potion. Okay, very good. Now we kind of do want to steal these these armors from the bodies. Those are valuable. Now becoming a master of dodge, that'll be something we'll have to handle later because uh, we don't have a blessing on dodge, so our skill is not up to that, but we might uh, change that in the, in the future. For now, we're fine with that. Us just being masters of melee and masters of uh, persuasion. Diplomacy and violence. The best combination. Um, yeah, we're just... Let's speak with Rilla. Uh, hello. 
Oh, well, well done. You've no idea how happy I am that, um, that Sir Garrick received his just reward. You are an excellent fighter. I doubt there are any alive who can match your skill. I thank you. You're real kind, lady. Uh, shall we go to Atkins now? Please, take the healing potions to Atkins. I believe he's right in Stillwater. I will remain here. Why not come with me? Then we can do the Master Persuasion quest and we'll be real good and stuff. I love him so, yet I am uncertain to his feelings towards me. After that, uh, after what has passed, please, tell me I'm here. He may join me if he so desires. Okay, I'll do that for... I really wish he'd come with us, because that would be uh, not easy, uh, easy like persuasion stuff. Oh well. Yes, I will just then loot his body and complete the negotiation as I did before. Not ideally, but good enough. And the next uh, episode, yes, will be Master of Melee and Master of Persuasion. It'll be cool. Till then, bye bye.